Okay, I screwed up. I'm going to tell you right up front. I screwed up, and I'm going to tell you exactly how I screwed up. Viewer discretion advised. I didn't know it. I'm brand new to YouTube. I'm a brand new YouTuber. I haven't been doing this that long. There's some basic rules. In my video last night, I showed you the helicopter footage. I've obtained it from three different sources now. The helicopter footage at Oshkosh. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you right up front here. Viewer, viewer discretion advised. And I'm going to give you the graphic for that in a few minutes. I'm going to show it to you. Um, you're going to see it anyway, eventually. You might as well see it now. We're going to learn something off of this. Before we do that, I'm going to talk about a previous gyro crash. This happened down in Florida four, almost four years ago, October of 2019. Here's the story. This gyro guy goes out to fly low level over this plant down in Polk County, Florida. He's flying along. I'm not sure what he was doing. He either had an engine failure or something, but he lands his gyrocopter. Actually, he crashes it just off to the side of this drainage ditch at this um, mosaic plant out here. It's a, it's a sulfur phosphorus plant of some kind. They have all these holding tanks and ponds and stuff. He ends up about 300 yards off the clear way, off, off the dike where, the, where they could have got to him. So he crashes out there about 2 p.m. Let's take a look at this. Here's, a, here's video footage of his crash. The gyrocopter crashing first. A Polk County Sheriff helicopter comes in to make a rescue and goes down himself. Now the news media calls it a hard landing. It started at 2 p.m. when a gyrocopter made a hard landing. This wasn't a landing. This was a crash. I'm not sure why, if he had any kind of a problem, why did he not just land on the parallel roadway that was only a few hundred feet to his right? I have no idea. Anyway, what happens next? Polk County Sheriff sends their chopper in. They want to come in and take a good look. Our 52-year-old chopper pilot, he decides that he's going to be the hero make a landing out there well he makes a landing out there but he gets his tail boom all caught up in the stuff down there crashes the chopper and now the chopper is laying on its side just a few hundred feet from our hero the gyro pilot now we have two victims laying out there in the middle of the field two bad decisions that did not follow policy polk county single pilot VFR in this Polk County Sheriff's turbine helicopter. You can't make an off-field landing out there and try to do a rescue out here. You're, you're going to hit something, and he did. Well, what do they decide to do next? Well, the government decides to send in an airboat. Yes, there's a good idea. Let's just send in a government airboat. Well, they, they send the airboat in. Now the airboat gets stuck. An airboat's tried to make a rescue but got stuck in the muck. Finally, when all else fails, now we've got a gyroplane, a helicopter, and an airboat all stuck out here. Let's send in the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard comes in, picks up the two, gets them out of there in the process. Then they discover that they probably shouldn't be do that because they're in danger of ingesting stuff into their engines because of all the dust, chemical stuff that's coming up off this plant. They probably should not have been there in the first place either. We were worried about uh, possible uh, uh, phosphate dust uh, uh getting into our engines and rotor system. Coast Guard, did they follow policy? I'm not exactly sure, but this entire thing is so ridiculous, you, you can't believe it. In the end, both of those two guys were okay. Um, neither one were hard landings. Let's listen to the news media describe this thing as two hard landings. Incredible to say the least. Our cameras were there as not one, but two helicopters crashed and were badly damaged in the middle of a mosaic property. Late today, we watched the aerials coming in after the hard landing in Polk County, Florida. Okay, those weren't hard landings. Those were crashes, and both of them caused by ridiculous, not following policy. What is that, Mike? Is that how we talk to I'm going to be advice. I don't want to be in the air anymore today. I've had two plane crashes today. That's enough for any day. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. See you. This is wild. A sheriff's office pilot that went to check on a damaged gyrocopter, he went down as well. Now we're all just trying to figure out what exactly happened here. I'm turning next to the Oshkosh Air Venture gyro helicopter crash. I have the footage. I'm going to show it to you. What exactly happened here? If you don't want to see it, this would be a great time to turn your TV off and not look at this. This is actual footage of the day Mark and his passenger died. The offending gyroplane was in a steep left 360. Come to find out, I have been flooded with calls and emails about the policy, the air boss, and the conduct of the cowboy operation going on at that field all week long, specifically the number of people that were not following procedures. This is a procedures thing. It is totally safe. Remember, there's no air traffic control. There's no radar down there that can give somebody a vector and an ILS and keep uh, people safe. This is purely visual. 
Visual is based on everybody following the pattern, staying single file, doing nothing erratic, doing nothing out of control. You go doing this kind of thing, this is exactly what's going to happen. I'm very disappointed that even though EAA knew about this and was fully conscious of it all week long, nothing happened until Mark got killed. I can bet you there's some big changes already in line for next year. I'm going to show it to you right now. What happened yesterday was I put this in my previous video. I did not mention viewer discretion advised, and I did not give you the graphic. If you don't want to see it, now is your time to turn it off, but I'm going to show it to you here right now because we're going to learn off this. This is how Mark and his passenger died right here. Viewer discretion advised. Now I'm going to give it to you in a little bit slower motion and a little bit freeze frame. You can see this gyro. The gyro was in about a 40, maybe 45 degree bank all the way around here. I think he was belly up to the helicopter, although I can't really tell. Um, I'm really disappointed in the in the whole thing. Remember, we have VFR for you, for your private pilot, uh, little fixed wing guys out there. VFR stands for visual flight rules. It means get your head out of the airplane, look outside, follow standard procedure, follow the traffic pattern, be predictable, don't do anything erratic in the traffic pattern. It's not VFR and IFR and FFR. There is no for flight flight rules. You should not be heads down staring at your iPad in the traffic pattern. Get your head outside. There is no FFR for flight flight rules. Put your iPad away. Get outside. Your iPad is very useful for a lot of information. Use it during a low workload time. Don't be heads down in the traffic pattern. Visual flight rules. It means visual. That's the only policy we got. Get your head on a swivel. Listen on the radio. Talk it up out there. Talk to the other guy. Figure out what you got to do and you'll be alive today. I'm sorry that my video last night did not uh, accurately include this footage. There's a blank spot in the middle of last night's video. Here's this is the actual footage, and I'm very sorry for both of these lost flights. I think I can promise you there's going to be some changes going forward, not only in fire departments, county sheriffs, county everything's. I think all of them are looking at it and revamping and rethinking everything. I uh, try to be a little bit more careful out there. If it's in your policy that you can't make an off field landing in your sheriff's helicopter, I recommend you don't make an off field landing in your sheriff's helicopter. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get this video up and on the air. I apologize that the one last night got it deleted, but that's it is what it is. For my tiny little itty bitty fledgling YouTube channel, Dan Grider, probable cause. Polk County Sheriff's Office tweeting this out today. U.S. Coast Guard, we love you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the assist yesterday. Our pilot thanks you, his wife thanks you, our family thanks you.